We all know London is the place to eat fish and chips, or where Buckingham Palace is located. But are we all aware about the skyscrapers in the city? How tall are these buildings? What can they offer aside from height? Do not worry, because Lux Luxury got you. For today's video, we will talk about the top 20 tallest skyscrapers in London. But before anything else, please make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for us. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this video until the end. Number 20. Demick Tower at 552 feet. This tower is a private, opulent apartment in a new London neighborhood on the Thames Banks. Acon 1 at 9 Elms offers the best standards with 10,000 square feet of manicured roof gardens and terraces. It boasts a stunning 50-story tower that soars above the London skyline, offering commanding views on all sides, including 360-degree views from the 23rd floor, as well as amenities normally reserved for luxury hotels such as a swimming pool, jacuzzi, a state-of-the-art gym, residence lounge, cinema, and a fully equipped children's play area. Number 19 100 Bishop's Gate, City of London, 563 feet. This is a 37 story office building in London's financial area that offers highly efficient and adaptable floor space. As you consider going into this place, you'll witness the 850,000 square feet of office space with an attractive design. Of course, you'll never be disappointed as you look outside to see the beauty of London especially at night. This spectacular glass and steel tower with a seven-story platform has a transition from a parallelogram to a rectangle at the top, which makes it one of London's largest single and most unique high-rise buildings. However, what is more impressive in this skyscraper is its strategy to use low energy for development, manufacturing, and performance. In fact, most of the technologies utilized inside the area are zero carbon. Number 18. BT Tower at 581 feet The BT Tower is a communications tower that was built in the 1960s to support microwave aerials that carry telecommunications traffic from London to the rest of England at that time. It also housed offices and operated as a tourist attraction with a revolving restaurant on the 34th floor. The tower is still utilized as a communications hub and houses a TV network switching center that is used by marketers, production businesses, and television broadcasting stations. Number 17. 30 St. Mary Axe or the Gherkin at 590 feet This building is often known as St. Mary Axe. It is one of the several skyscrapers that define the London skyline. The physical surroundings of the city has an impact on the tower's shape. One of the most important factors was the smooth movement of wind around the building. Furthermore, the tower is aerodynamically constructed to lessen wind strain on the structure with the lowest half of the tower tapering to allow wind to loop around it. In addition, the structure includes a steel frame and a diamond-shaped glass facade. The building's energy-saving mechanism, which allows air to flow up through the spiraling wells, result to the swirling stripe pattern visible on the exterior. Number 16. St. George Wharf Tower, Vox Hall at 594 feet This tower is also known as The Tower. It is a prominent apartment tower in Vox Hall with 223 units spread across 49 floors. It is London's tallest residential tower, standing at 181 meters. The Tower of London is one of the most significant additions to London's skyline. It operates as an essential marker of the focal point of vistas along the river. It is located on a conspicuous bend of the River Thames. The building's basic and beautiful circular design, combined with floor-to-ceiling windows, provides breathtaking 360-degree views of London. The ratchet-shaped floor plan is divided into five units per story, with separate walls extending out from the central core. When viewed from the outside, the plan's step-backs hold sky gardens, 
give occupants with a semi-external area, and emphasize the building's verticality. Number 15. Amory Tower at 597 feet This is a 53-story residential tower with 319 apartments that offer unmatched views of one of London's most vibrant districts. The skyscraper is finished and ready to be occupied right away. Floor-to-ceiling windows in Amory Tower apartments ensure that your home is flooded with natural light throughout the day. All of the homes have been built to a high standard, including a bespoke fitted kitchen with integrated Siemens equipment and underfloor heating throughout. The bathrooms include a tiled mosaic feature wall with an integrated vanity unit and bespoke feature lighting, and most apartments have a balcony or winter garden. Number 14. Tower 42 at 600 feet this tower consists of six self-contained buildings with 474,000 square feet of commercial space on a 2.2-acre freehold plot. It is home to a number of well-known restaurants and taverns. If you want to sample some exquisite cuisine or take in some spectacular views of the city, or both, then this tower is a must-see. However, the bank did not reoccupy the tower when it was seriously damaged by a provisional IRA truck bomb in 1993. Number 13. Wardian East Isle of Dogs at 614 feet With an excellent waterside position on the Isle of Dogs, immediately south of Canary Wharf, London, Wardian London is a world-first in housing design that supports botanically inspired living. The 768 dwellings in Wardian, London are divided between two residential buildings of 55 and 50 stories, with suites, one- and two-bedroom apartments, and penthouses. All units at Wardian include wraparound balconies that seamlessly connect inside and out, allowing tenants to connect with nature. The two towers are connected by a pedestal with a grand lobby, community spaces, stores, a cinema room and a waterfront cafe, a stunning rooftop observatory bar and a 25-meter open-air swimming pool are also included in the project, which is placed inside a lushly manicured environment. Number 12. The Scalpel at 630 feet This is another high-profile skyscraper by Con Peterson Fox, and it rises to a sharp, sparkly point in the city of London. The office structure stands out against the backdrop of the capital cityscape. This building has a lobby with a triple height atrium, retail space and a coffee shop on the bottom floor with office space on other 35 floors. Because of its relative energy efficiency, the building received a BREEAM excellent grade. Its core is positioned to give shade, reducing the need for air conditioning. Low-flow toilets and sinks minimize potable water use by 45% compared to a normal tower. Number 11. HSBC Tower at 656 feet This tower's primary facilities are incorporated at the building's core. There is a clever multi-tier elevator system which provides easy access to all 39 floors. To be specific, there are three interchanging floors that punctuate this vertical circulation system, allowing easy mobility between elevator groups, meeting rooms, stores, cafes, kitchens, and medical facilities. Moreover, escalators connect to the ground level and the entrance lobby to three double-height trading halls, while below ground is a direct link to Canary Wharf Underground Station, as well as three levels of parking. How convenient is that? Of course, the outside of this building is equally appealing. The external architecture of the building is softened by curved edges, and the glass shaft is topped with a little halo, making it stand out on the skyline. Number 10. Canary Wharf at 656 feet Canary Wharf was built on the site of the decommissioned West India Dock in the Isle of Dogs. The London Docklands Development Corporation, a government-created organization, was in charge of it. Canary Wharf's towers contain a hidden secret from below, according to a little-known truth. 
On top of the buildings, there is nearly 8,000 square meters of living roof space. These green roofs are made of sedum moss and are rarely visited by humans, making them a safe haven for wildlife. As a result, the Canary Wharf region now has the UK's largest green roof space. Number 9. One Park Drive at 673 Feet Herstock and Demuron designed One Park Drive, a 58-story skyscraper with a unique, highly articulated, geometric facade. The building also includes interiors by Goddard Littlefair and bowler James Rindley. The development's gracefully sculptural facade breaks down the development's overall volume, ensuring that it not only responds to its high-rise built surroundings, but also connects with the area's environment, canary wharf's vegetation and large water element. The project, which is built on abstractly circular floor plates, has beautifully designed apartment interiors as well as a variety of amenities for residents, including a lobby, a 24-hour concierge, lounge, theater, library, and a fully equipped fitness club. The building's overall impact is also softened by the circular design, which clearly distinguishes it from the adjacent commercial offerings. Number 8. South Quay Plaza at 705 feet South Quay Plaza is a Canary Wharf property unlike any other. The skyscraper, designed by world-renowned architects Foster & Partners, will be positioned at a 45-degree angle to enable dual aspect views and allow sunshine to flood the park at its base. Every resident will become a member of the Quay Club, which offers five-star amenities such as a state-of-the-art gym, a 20-meter swimming pool with views of the South Dock, a business lounge, screening room, and private dining room, as well as the stunning 56th floor bar and terrace with incredible views of the city skyline. It stands within 2.6 acres of magnificently landscaped gardens and over 150 new trees, seeming like an urban paradise, just steps away from the heart of London's financial sector. New cafes and restaurants are located at the water's edge of the South Dock, in the heart of the park, providing places to meet and mingle. Number 7. Newfoundland Tower at 722 feet This tower is the Canary Wharf Estate's first residential structure, comprising 636 high-quality residential apartments, retail space, and residential amenities. It has a stunning appearance that stems from its elongated shape and its translucent diagrid structure that expresses on the outer facade and provides separation for individual apartment balconies. Moreover, Newfoundland has the smallest footprint of any place in the UK for a building of that scale, which accounts for its slim diamond form. It also explains why the building's structural support is a steel diagrid framework. Number 6. The Leiden Hall Building at 737 feet The 3,500-square-meter Leiden Hall Building was constructed in the heart of the city of London. Other tall buildings in the city surround the spot. A 12-story office building that had been built on the site in the 1960s was removed to make way for the new tower. Because the majority of the components were developed and built elsewhere, the building construction produced nearly little trash. Number 5. The Heron Tower at 763 feet In the city of London, England, the Salesforce Tower is a skyscraper. Its official name is 110 Bishopsgate, although it was previously known for as the Heron Tower, a name it still bears. After Tower 42, it was the third highest skyscraper in the United Kingdom and the tallest city in all of London when it was finished in 2011. Bishop's Gate is home to the Huron Tower. The building process ran from 2007 until 2011. Huron International is the company's owner. Salesforce.com and Huron International had a naming conflict in 2014. The City of London agreed that it should be called 110 Bishop's Gate. Number 4. Landmark Pinnacle at 764 feet The Landmark Pinnacle is a 764-foot skyscraper being built near Marsh Wall on the Isle of Dogs, London by developer Shellgrove Properties. It is expected to be Europe's highest residential building with more habitable floors than any other structure. 
Before a name change in 2016, the property was known as City Pride, the same name as the public house it replaces. The view is the key selling point of the landmark pinnacle. There are no other residences in the city that offer as many uninterrupted views of the capital. You can even see the border between London and the countryside. Number 3. One Canada Square at 771 feet. When One Canada Square topped Tower 42, which had been erected 10 years before in 1990, it became the highest skyscraper in the United Kingdom. The building is made up of almost 16,000 steel components that serve as a structural frame and exterior veneer. Following the move of several London newspapers from the city to One Canada Square in the early 1990s, the skyscraper is frequently referred to as the Vertigo Fleet Street. Number 2. 22 Bishop's Gate A fresh food market, an innovation hub, a gym, a health retreat and spa, a curated art walk, a business club, a cycle club, a destination restaurant, and London's highest free public viewing gallery are all located within the structure. It will be the first tower in the United Kingdom to have more than 100,000 square feet of integrated amenities and social areas. It will also have an active commuter park with 1,700 bike storage spaces, maintenance facilities, electric charging stations and changing rooms, as well as the capital's highest free public viewing gallery, cafe, and bar with art installations all throughout. Number 1. The Shard at 1,016 feet the Shard, which dominates the London skyline, is also one of the most well-known structures in the world. The Shard has quickly become one of London's most popular attractions since its debut on February 1, 2013, thanks to the city's highest viewpoint, the View from the Shard, which offers unrivaled panoramas of London. The Shard was designed to seem like a shard of glass, so it's only logical that it's built of glass. 11,000 glass panels to be exact. The glass facade has a total area of 56,000 square feet. This is the equal of 8 football fields in terms of length. So, what do you think about the tallest skyscrapers in London? Which among these buildings are you anticipating to visit? Well, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be updated whenever we post new videos. If you want more videos like this, you can always check out our other videos by visiting our channel. As always, this is the Lugs Luxury Channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time!